In this video, we will be demonstrating the photovoltaic cells experiment, the TE4, from the alternative energy range of practical engineering and teaching equipment from Tech Equipment. This allows students to investigate and practically demonstrate the operation and performance of a high efficiency photovoltaic cell array and battery storage system. As you can see, it's compact and mobile, and I'll go on to show you how it's also easy to use. array you see here is a commercially available photovoltaic solar panel which is attached to a lightweight wheeled frame that can be maneuvered into position and tilted on an angle relative to the sun. Here is a solarimeter that measures the indirect and the direct radiation giving you an output proportional to the total incident of radiation. The solar panel recharges a choice of two batteries through the charge controller that is contained within the control module. This recharges one of two batteries at the correct charge. The batteries are easily identified apart by their size. The large high capacity battery is fitted to the solar array frame in this large rugged box. This is a standard car battery. The smaller battery sat on the bench here has a much smaller capacity. It will allow you to understand the float mode and load cut features and enable full charging in a small time frame. Having now covered the energy harvesting and battery storage elements, let's talk about load and the load unit that has three different loads. The load here is a rotary variable resistance load that shows the battery's performance. In the middle is the resistive lighting load area that consists of four individually switched lamps to give a range of low voltage loads between 5 watts and 41 watts, as seen in the table here. On the other side is the low voltage DC to AC mains inverter, taking the 12 volt DC from the large battery and converting it to 240 volt AC, which can be used to power main devices like this fan. An RCD here is fitted to the output for safety reasons. Now we're going to come back to the control module. I already mentioned earlier that the charge controller is contained within this unit. On the front, there are sockets for output and a digital display that shows the panel and battery storage performance. It also includes connection to an external VDAS hardware unit for data capture and acquisition. Flipping round to the rear now, there are sockets that allow you to connect this long cable included to the solar array. This is useful when you want the control module inside and to position the solar array outside. This is also the connection to the smaller battery and the connection to a power for a fan that is in the load unit. The first experiment tests the performance of the solar array, allowing you to plot the characteristic IV curve and allows you to calculate the peak power point. By repeating this at different times of day with different weather conditions, you can gain an understanding of real world weather variables on the effectiveness and efficiency of photovoltaic cells on the output voltage and current. The second experiment demonstrates the float mode of the charge controller and allows you to find out its upper and lower voltage. You can only do this on a day of good sunlight or by using the solar light bank, which if you're relying on the sunlight, that rule is out for us here on an autumn day in the UK. But you can see the kind of results you can get on this graph here. The third experiment demonstrates load cut, another one for a good sunny day or use with the solar light bank. See the results gathered again here. And the last and final fourth experiment demonstrates the usage and efficiency of an inverter. For more information about the photovoltaic cells experiment and other practical teaching apparatus for learning about alternative energies, please click on the links below. Thanks for watching.